To begin this sample project, I'm going to start with a fresh master assembly template named after the project, which in this case is called Medical Depot. A plan drawing has been supplied by the architect, and I've inserted it into the part and scaled it to the correct size for visual purposes. This part in turn has been inserted into the master assembly, and I'll build my model on top of it. This step is entirely unnecessary, but it looks great and gives you immediate feedback as you build the project. I'll show you how to do this in a tutorial on the subscription form for those who are interested. I have pre-configured the room configurator with some of the job's particulars such as the room height, wall thickness, and the size of the overall space. Actually, that's all that I configured, but everything can be changed to what is needed later on as well. Now I begin placing the overall project room. A dialog pops up where I can enter values as I place the configurator, but I would rather do so after placement because the configurator has better controls than the stock ones you see here. So I'll just click OK, then place the room configurator in the assembly. Now I'll ground and root the component, then Activate the configurator so that I can add the front and back doors and windows. Currently I have a single door and window opening built into the configurator for each wall, which will work for most cases, but when you need more, you can add them pretty easily. First, I'll switch to the north wall tab and switch the visibility state of both the doors and windows on. They are not in the right place, of course, so I will do a bit of adjusting. For this job, these doors and windows will not affect the cabinetry at all, so the placement is merely cosmetic. I just use the floor plan to get things as close as they need to be. Now for the front. I'll switch to the south wall on the form and get that the way I want it. And there you have it. The shell of the job is complete, total time was about 15 minutes, and the majority of the time was spent getting the floor plan image to scale. Now I'll place the rooms. There are 12 rooms altogether. Three are 10 by 10 feet, so I will pre-configure the room configurator to that size and place nine of the rooms. The last three rooms are closets and will be placed later on. Now I will place the first instance of a room, which will be the reception room. I simply constrain the room flush with the two outer walls and with the top. The 10 foot dimension is correct in the north-south direction, but as we can see from the plan view, the east to west dimension needs to be 9 foot 3 inches. Now I just need to turn on the doors and windows and size and position them. Now I'm going to do the same with the rest of the rooms. And there you have it. After a bit of optimizing, the assembly will be ready for cabinets. In the next video, I'll start adding and configuring the cabinets. Stay tuned.